When you start designing things that fit with other things, you're going to need to account for the variation that may exist in each of the parts. In short, nothing is made the exact same every time, so designers and engineers must create some wiggle room for parts to work together. This consideration is called tolerance. There are many different types of tolerances, but in this video we're going to address the three most common types. Limit dimension, bilateral tolerance, and a unilateral tolerance. Before we talk about tolerances, let's get one key phrase out of the way. Specified dimension. A specified dimension is the desired dimension. Without it, we would not have a tolerance to find. Now that we've cleared that up, let's move on to our first type of tolerance. Limit dimensions are easy to spot compared to the other two basic types of tolerances. It doesn't even have tolerance in the name. A limit dimension tells you the maximum and minimum sizes something can fall within and still be in the design guidelines. Unlike other tolerances, the value of the max and min is given. To find the tolerance for the limit dimensions, simply subtract the larger number from the smaller number as shown here. Bilateral tolerances are shown by having a plus and minus sign in line with the specified dimension. They are sometimes called symmetrical tolerances because the variances will be equal amounts above or below the specified dimension. Calculating tolerance can be done in two ways. You can add the indicated number to the specified number to get your upper limit, and then subtract the indicated number from your specified number to get the lower limit. Finally, you subtract to get the tolerance. In the second way, all you need to do is double the indicated number and you'll find your tolerance. Our last type of tolerance is a unilateral tolerance. In this type of tolerance, the specified dimension is used as a maximum or minimum, and the tolerance can be given an amount over or under that number. In this example, the smaller dimension is the 1, and the maximum that it can be is 1.005. To find the tolerance of this style, simply find the line that has a non-zero number after the specified dimension. If you are looking for more videos like this, check these out, and thanks for watching.